Today we are diving into one of my favorite kinds of cooking and it's sheet pan meals. And I love sheet pan meals for so many reasons. They're really my go-to for quick dinners on busy work days. They're really the key to that work-life balance for busy moms getting dinner on the table. I love that they're super easy for cleanup because aside from the bowls that I've used, which can go straight in the dishwasher, everything cooks on one pan, super easy, super fast cleanup. I love that. I love that I can combine just about anything that I have in the kitchen on a sheet pan with some olive oil, some seasonings. I can throw it in the oven. It's so versatile. You can use just about anything that you have. I love caramelizing the vegetables because it brings out a sweetness. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that with some of the ingredients that we're using, but it brings out a, a natural sweetness to the vegetables that actually makes them more palatable for picky eaters. So those are just a few of the amazing benefits of sheet pan meals and why I love them so much. And I'll probably give you a few more as we go through and prepare this dish. So tonight we are combining Brussels sprouts, these funky little cabbages, and roasting is going to bring out a nice sweetness. We're going to create uh, a nice marinade or a seasoning blend for those that brings out some savoriness and some sweetness. We've got some apples to balance out that bitter. We've got some sweet potatoes and some red onion to get the sharpness. So really a lot of different colors from the rainbow and which means you're getting more nutrients in your dinner and so is your family. So we've got red onion, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, an apple. Normally I would put some pork chops on the sheet pan with them, but tonight I'll be cooking these delicious pork chops that every time we travel to South Dakota, uh, we stop in Sioux City, Iowa, and we stop at Fairway. It's a grocery store there and they have the most amazing smoked pork chops. They're already smoked and then all we have to do is season them and cook them like five minutes per side. So look at these beauties. I have put a savory maple spice on them. But we're just going to cook these in a cast iron skillet for about five minutes each to get them good and warm and caramelize that outside. And then we're going to serve that with all of this goodness. And I'm going to show you how to put this sheet pan meal together. But be thinking about what do you have in your kitchen that you could easily combine? You don't have to go to the grocery store. Sheet pan meals, another thing is they're great for if you get to the end of the day, you don't have a plan, you don't know what to cook. Look in the fridge, pick a couple vegetables, pick a potato, find a protein, mix it all together, and you're good to go. So we have the oven preheating to 425 degrees, and I've already prepped the fruits and veggies to make this a little bit shorter video, but I really want to show you how quickly it can come together. So you're talking five to 10 minutes. You can get the recipe below in the YouTube description. Everything's chopped and ready to go. And then we've got the oven preheated. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our little, our, our marinade. Now you could double this recipe and use it as a marinade for the pork chops. Um, if you were actually going to cook pork chops on this sheet pan as well. But I've got my small bowl here and I'm going to add a two tablespoons of oil. All right. So I'm going to take two tablespoons of olive oil. Put these things aside here. Two tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. Now, I'm going to use a lavender infused balsamic vinegar because I think it's going to be lovely with this dish. But you could use any balsamic vinegar that you have. If you have white, that's fine too. We're going to do one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup. So we're gonna get the acid from the balsamic vinegar. We're gonna get the sweetness of the maple. And then we're gonna add a half tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Now, I think this adds a lovely sharpness. And all of these flavors go amazingly well with not only Brussels sprouts. These are guidelines. If you like more mustard, add more mustard. You don't have to get hung up on the measurement. All right, we're going to do a half teaspoon of dried rosemary. That looks about right. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper, and we're just going to whisk this up, and we're going to pour it all over our vegetables right on the sheet pan. So again, minimal dishes for cleaning. Some 
salt in there and some pepper, making a little mess. Right? You're not making a mess. You're not doing it right. All right. We're just going to whisk this up. Now, if you're preparing this at home, you could easily combine all of your veggies and fruits and whatever you're putting on the sheet pan in one bowl. I'm going to go ahead. I have them separated because I wanted to show you step by step what I'm adding. So we're going to add our Brussels sprouts and our sweet potatoes. And then we're also going to go ahead and add our red onion. Now we're going to cook all of these first because they take a little bit of extra time and the apples won't take long at all. So we're going to combine all of these and we're going to add our apples about halfway through. Got these onion wedges here. And it's not gonna hurt these big onion pieces to cook a little bit longer. I really like tender onions. I don't like the bite of a raw onion. If you do, you could also add them when you add the apples. Now you can see that it'd be really easy to double this recipe. It could be a great meal prep recipe for the week. You could easily double it to feed a larger family or double it so that you can divide it out into individual servings and eat it all week. All right, we've got all that mixed together. We've got our mixture here. I'm just gonna drizzle this over the top. Now you can get messy with your hands in here and mix it all together. You could get a spoon, some tongs. I'm just gonna get right in here and mix it all together. And these are ready to throw in the oven. Look how pretty that is. So many different colors, so many different flavors, and they're going to all balance so nicely together. So we're going to put those in the oven for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to take it out and add our apples, stir it all together, and finish it off. Now, while that's cooking, I can go put all my dishes in the dishwasher and have a head start when it's ready. Okay, we have the first half of it done and we're gonna add our apples and mix it together again. And then cook it for another 10 minutes while our pork chops are cooking. One nestled down in there. They're gonna release their juices, add a little bit more sweetness to this, that bright sweetness in contrast to that app of that maple and baldonic. All right, we're gonna put this back in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, there it is, our sheet pan meal. Now we're getting ready to dish this up with those beautiful smoked pork chops I showed you. And then because food is supposed to be fun and I love to play with fun ingredients, we're gonna to top it with a little bit of main maple smoked sea salt. Now, playing with salts and vinegars and different infused oils is, it's so fun because you never know what flavor it's going to bring out next. And so we're going to layer that for you and show you what the final dish looks like. All right, here we go. My vegetables. Got those Brussels sprouts, those sweet potatoes. Put that right there and put this beautiful pork chop right on top, kind of off to the side and layering. Then we're gonna take our maple smoked sea salt and just do a finishing salt. Now these are not salts you necessarily wanna cook with. They're great finishing salts. They accentuate flavors that are already in there and bring out new flavors. So there you go. All right, there you have it. We've put together a delicious, gourmet flavor and gourmet looking dish with simple ingredients that you probably or likely have around the house. Apples, onions, sweet potatoes, and some Brussels sprouts. And we're serving those with a beautiful smoked pork chop. I hope you see how easy sheet pan meals can come together. And you really can have fun with it because you can get everybody involved in picking the ingredients and prepping the ingredients. And the whole point of creating quick and fast meals isn't just to get dinner on the table faster. It's to reduce the stress and create more time and more space to spend time and connect with your loved ones and your family. 
If you want to try out the recipe, check it out in the description below. And hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the fun new videos coming out soon.